Welcome to my course Building and Testing AI Agents, Rags and Chatbots using Langchain with Olama and Local Large Language Model. In this course, we are going to talk about the complete basics to the advanced concept of Langchain and how we can use Langchain to build chatbots, AI agents, rags, and how we can use the potential of Langchain for many different operations. We'll also be talking about how we can use these Langchain for automated browser extensions like Playwright, where we can grab the information and how we can fuse this information with our rag system to retrieve the data from the Vectar stores and get the details pretty much like how an agent actually does. We'll also be fusing the AI agent to perform all these operations. So this course is going to be quite amazing to see all these operations. And we'll also be using the ecosystems of Langchain like Langsmith for that matter, where we'll be seeing how we can monitor, evaluate and also observe the work that we do in the Langchain, which will be transferred all the way to the Langsmith and we can use the Langsmith heavily in this entire course. Well, as I said, this entire course is going to look something like this, where we'll be talking about the understanding the basics of the Langchain, where we are going to talk about how the Langchain works, what is the chaining mechanism, what is the chat prompt and stuff and how we can use multiple chains and how we can use that with our local large language model. With all these foundation, we'll be building a chatbot, we'll be building uh, the RAG applications and also we'll be building agents with the power of toolings and then we fusing that with the AI agent. And finally, all these will be tested using the RAGAS, which is going to be a tool for doing the evaluation of all the chatbots, rags, and agents. So we'll be doing this entire operation. And because we are building a large language model application, it is also wise to use the local large language model because this is going to be more cost effective. And that's the reason why this entire course is built using Olama and local large language model with models like Llama 3.2 and QN 2.5 models. And we'll also be using DeepSeek to show you like how things work. So this is how this course is designed. I will also quickly show you how this entire course is designed in the Visual Studio code because because we'll be doing every single operation in this course using the Jupyter Notebook. So as you can see, this is the entire project structure of this particular course. You can see that we have got all the sections over here in the left hand side and every section has got the uh, Jupyter Notebook as you can see over here. Every single details in this particular course will be covered in this Jupyter Notebook. We'll have the diagrammatic view of what is really going to happen for every single operation that we are going to be performing. And we'll be covering all these details, for example, the chat prompt details or what is the chat and how you use it. All the basic informations are sitting over here. And similarly, if you're going to be talking about the chainings and runnables, so those informations will be available over here. I'll be talking about how we can use the chaining mechanism and how we can do parallel chainings and how we can use the runnables and runnable parallels and stuff. So those informations will be sitting over here as well. So you can see that with all these foundations in place, like even the chat history and how you can maintain the chat history for your interaction, we'll be then building a chatbot all the way together from the complete ground up. And the chatbot is going to look something like this, as you can see over here. So for example, this chatbot, as you can see, is pretty much like a replica of the, uh, the chat GPT. While we ask like write a Selenium uh, with C sharp dot net code, you will notice that this particular uh, chat, uh, this particular local uh, chatbot is going to write pretty much exactly like the how the chat GPT works. But over here, this is using the local large language model, which is the QN model, and also it is uh, built completely from the ground up using the Streamlit app. So that is how this chatbot is going to be built over here. And we'll be also seeing how we can use all these potential while we were going, we are going to be using them to build a RAG application. So over here in the RAG applications, we are going to be reading some external papers like the uh, research paper of the large language models we'll be extracting those details and then we'll be creating a context for the large language model which can then use that particular context using the vector stores and embedding and then it will give us the answer in a more meaningful fashion so we are going to add more potential to the large language model to give more intelligence in such a way that it can have all the external knowledge using these pdf files but th that's not really enough right like because this pdf file will have still the limited knowledge but with the power of the toolings uh, within the uh, tool calls and toolings in the large language models we can go even further to extend its capability not just using the locally trained data with the large language model we are going to give access to the external tools like wikipedia or our own custom tools to uh, to get even more knowledge for our large language model that is what we will be discussing in the tooling section and then we'll be building an agent how the agent is going to use the tools and the potential that we have discussed even with the rags and then we'll be uh, using 
using those operation over here in the section 7 as well as in the section 8 as you can see over here. And finally, we'll be testing this entire operation using ragas as you can see. Uh, and this testing is where we'll be talking about the single turn sample, multi turn samples, and also we'll be talking about how we can test the uh, large language models with the rag application from the complete evaluator. Uh, and we'll also be talking about how we can test uh, an AI agent with uh, ragas uh, and how we can get the response using both the local large language model as well as using the open AI's uh, model like GPT-40 model for that matter. So all these uh, are covered in this particular course and every single interaction or uh, the details that we are gonna talk about over here are all available in the uh, in the Jupyter Notebook. That's the reason why I feel like this course is gonna give you a complete walkthrough from the start to the end, like how I learned while working with all these things and also how I used the entire uh, materials while training you in this particular course. I'm quite excited about this course and I'm sure you'll get so much excited while you start learning the complete awesomeness of using a large language model for building your large language model based AI applications from the complete ground up. See you soon in the course starting our next section.